All right, so uh, we're taking a look at this uh, International Pro Star um, ISX uh, 15. So I have an air leak on the solenoid valve, uh, part number uh, 3686371. So let me show you where the leak is coming from. Get my little flashlight here. So, so that uh, this pink wire right here, I keep saying pink. This purple wire right here, with that green, with that green marking. So that's where it's coming from. Whenever I, whenever I flex that purple wire. I could feel the air changes so I'm about to take off that nut and see what we got working with I don't know maybe I could just cut off a piece of the um the purple hose and reconnect it and that will stop the leak so let me get a um a wrench and take off that purple hose and see what we're working with all right so it looks like this take a uh, 18 millimeter. So let's try this out. I'm going the other side. Okay, this is better reach. So I broke it loose. Let me see if I could use my hands and just. All right, so I broke it loose. Now I'm gonna use my fingers. There it is. All right, so it's out. Now I'm gonna have to cut that uh that zip tie right there. I thought. I thought this was like a quick connect release type of um, connection. Um, it's either it's not or it's just get stuck with dirt or whatever. But I try to use a screwdriver and um, you know push in and pull the hose out. But that didn't work. So what I'm going to do is just cut this if I can get to it. I'm gonna cut the zip tie right quick. Alright, so I just I just cut the zip tie. Yeah, this is a, a quick release. This looked like a quick release, but for some reason it wasn't it wasn't coming out. Is it a quick release? Anyway, let's try and take this out. There's another zip tie down here. I got to cut, I think. Uh, yeah, right there. Gotta cut that as well. Alright, so... Uh, cut the other zip, zip tie. So I was right. It is a quick connect. I just use um, a pliers and I spin it and it did spin. So I think I could... Um, what we do now is push this in and push the um and pull the cable out. But since I don't have a tripod, I'm gonna have to do it off camera. All right, so I got the hose out. So how this came apart was um you push in and you pull this out, but it was kind of awkward. So I uh, put like a pliers over this towards the end and I and I pull I pull towards me while I pull this out if you know what I mean but um, a lot of people use like a their finger or a screwdriver but sometimes there's dirt in here and it's so hard to press in while you're trying to pull out so just do whatever um, works for you but the main 
But the main point is to push this in, then you pull out. Because if you look closely, if you see that that opening right there, you could push this in while you pull that out. And when you're trying to push it in, all you gotta do is just um, push this in and it will lock in. But you gotta tug on it a little bit to see if it locks in. So what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna cut this off, right? I'm gonna go to um, to the dealer and see if I could get one of these and um, reconnect it. If not, I'm just gonna cut this off and try and see if that fixed the leak. But since I'm already, I'm already, um, I already got this off, I would love to change this, you know what I mean? So, but for now, I'm just gonna cut this off and then I'm gonna go to the dealer and see if I get this um, quick connect change. Anytime you like to slip in the car over here. Okay. Hey, I wish you luck. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. All right. So I just got me some new fittings. It's not exactly the same size, but we'll do the job. Same, same um, concept. This one is just a little bit longer. So this place is actually the Peterbilt. This is a Peterbilt dealer, and as we know, this is from the this is off of the international truck. So they have the same engine, but their plumbing work looks like it's a, a little bit different. So we're gonna head back to the house and screw this up and pop the um the airline in, and we should be good. All right, so let's go. I don't know, but that Peterbilt lot used to be full with trucks. You see the business is bad or business is good? <laughs> There's no trucks on the lot no more. So I'm back at the house. Um, again, this is my new quick connect valve right here. This is the old one. Um, so the part number that we got here is uh, we have two part number because it's two separate pieces we, we're making into one. All right, so again, this is the part number right there for the two pieces, and that's the total, we, and that's the prices we pay, and this is the total, thirty-one seventy-seven. All right, so we're gonna use this adjustable wrench and this box wrench. It's an eighteen millimeter. We're gonna use both of them to tighten these two pieces together. As you can see, it has the red um, thread locker on there already, so we don't gotta put that on there, which is nice. So. I'm just gonna take these um, these tools and tighten this down and cut you guys back on. All right, so I just tightened this down. And what I'm gonna do now is screw this, this piece in the um, solenoid valve. Tighten it down and then I'm gonna, I didn't cut the, um, I didn't cut the hose yet. So I'm gonna cut the hose and then I'm gonna just um, push it down in here and tug on it and make sure it locks in pretty nice All right, so what I'm about to do is switch my blade out this box cutter Because I'm about to cut the air holes so I can have a first piece when I push it down in the um, In the quick release right right here. I need a first piece of hose To push down in here. So I'm gonna I want to make sure my blade is sharp all right, so this is the piece that I'm about to cut off. As you can see, the end of it is not all that it's not all that straight. See that? It's not all that clean and straight, so I'm going to have to make sure when I cut it it's nice and straight because it's sealed better when it's when it's flush at the end, when it's nice and round at the end. I just cut it off as you can see that you can see where the line is right you can see where the line is so this piece right here it's not bad so I'm gonna stick this in the end of it and we should be good all right so that's the um the solenoid valve and I'm about to put the new one the new uh 
the new connector in here. Okay, fit nice and nice and smooth, perfect fit. Just gotta tighten it down. Okay, my finger can't go no more, so now I'm gonna use use my tool. This is an 18 millimeter, by the way. Okay, I can't get a good reach on it. Let me pause this and reposition myself. Give it a little bit more turn. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. All right. Oops, my camera was off focus. Sorry if you guys wasn't seeing that. I'm trying to hold the camera while I do this. It's a tight space in here, so forgive me if you didn't get that. But let me see if I could get some more pull on it. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to put the holes in. you guys on top right there. I think I'm, I think I'm liking myself from even. Okay. Just got to push it in. It's in there, just gotta push it in. Alright. We'll get to it, don't worry. I think that's good. I think it's locked in. Okay, so that's the idea, you push it in. And then you tug on it, make sure it doesn't come loose. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is start up a truck and listen out for air leak. some air in there there's no more buzzer beeping so I'll go turn it off now and just go check see if we got any air coming out all right let's 
go check. Huh. We're good. I don't hear nothing um coming out of here. I don't hear nothing at all coming out of there. It's uh, nice, nice and clear. No SE nails. I think um I think that fixed the problem because before when I turned off the truck, I was hearing the, I was hearing the noise so loud that I had to come and figure out where is that coming from, and I don't hear nothing right now. So guess that's it guys that's how you fix your air leak on your solenoid valve all right so now i gotta put on back back this fender here i gotta put that fender here i took that fender off to, to uh gain access to the um solenoid valve anyway guys so that's it for this video if this video helps you out in any type of way please subscribe to the channel like the video and share the video to anyone who you think this could probably help see you on the next 